Hello everybody, I'm Janine, Elise's mum, and today I'm in the Elise Alexandra kitchen and I'm gonna be making a plaited bagel, one of my favorites. So I've pre-made a bagel dough, and these are really easy doughs to work with. And to remove it, I always find these fabulous silicon spatulas from Elise are fantastic to get the dough out. And what I'm just gonna do now, I've just got a lightly floured surface on the large Elise Alexandra mat, and I'm just gonna prepare my dough now, push it out into, just gently into an A4 piece of paper. That's kind of a good size to go with. And just pick up the edge and fold it into the middle Give it a bit of a press down and the other edge into the middle. Just need a little bit more flour here. Just move that around. So I end up with like a log and that's going to be perfect. If it's sticking a little bit, don't be afraid, just put a little more flour down. And with the seam on the bottom, I've now got a very rough looking log. And I'm going to cut that in half because I only want half for my plaited bagel. So, in half. And set half aside. And we're just going to now take a rolling pin and I'm gonna roll the dough out. And, uh, whoops, again, if it's sticking, don't panic. Just get a little bit of flour onto the top surface. Now, once you've got dough on your rolling pin, you need to remove that because dough always sticks to dough. All right, so let's give it another go now. Sticking a little bit, a little bit of old flour on the top. Not too much though, and off you go. We're just gonna gently roll it out. Now, I'm a bit old school, so I would say a fool's cap piece of paper, but a lot of people don't know what that is. It's bigger than an A4. And you'll see when I'm finished how that sits on the large baking mat. So that'll give you an idea if you've got one of these baking mats at home. So we just keep rolling out. It's essentially rolling into an oblong. A rectangle is probably a, a good description for it. And I like to get it as neat as possible. Right, so here we have our bagel dough uh, out to about the size you want. So if you've got the large baking mat, uh, you've got like one square on the long side and one and a half on the shorter side. So that gives you a bit of an idea. Now, the other thing is when you're rolling it out, if you're getting a bit of resistance, in other words, the dough's kind of shrinking back on you, just let it rest for a minute and then continue to roll. Now, most important, what we're gonna do now we're going to take a piece of baking paper and we're going to flip this over because we want our dough on baking paper. So just gently move that off the mat. There we go. Put your mat aside and it's really important we have it on baking paper because you'll see in a minute that I'm gonna to have to lift this dough up and put it into the Varoma. And I wouldn't be able to do that with uh, the baking mat. So that's why it's really important to swap it over. And now we're ready to put our roasted veggies down the middle. So we're just gonna put them right down the middle of the dough. So it's really important that the filling is cold. So you can make it, you know, you can make it up to two days ahead. Just hide it in your fridge because Sometimes the family discover this and they love it. It's a fabulous uh, also to go on an anti-pasta dish, anything like that. So it's got multiple uses. So just spread it out evenly. And now we're going to use our dough cutter and we're gonna make like fern on an angle. I call them fern-like cuts. And I'm going to be starting the side closest to me and I'm just gonna cut the dough. They're about two centimeters apart and going at an angle, because we need the angle to do the plaiting.
okay. So our plaited bagel is now ready for steaming because bagel dough needs to be steamed before we're gonna bake it in the oven. Now, what I've got here is uh, something that's called a trivet, and I'm gonna place that in the bottom of my Varoma. And the reason I'm doing that, number one, I wanna lift the plaited bagel up. But secondly, when we're cooking in the Varoma, you never wanna block off the holes. Um, if you do that, uh, the steam is not free to get through and that will compromise uh, the evenness of cooking and also your cooking time. Like you'll come back and think, why isn't this cooking? And another area uh, that I love to use the trivet is if I'm steaming a piece of beef. So anytime you're cooking anything in the Varoma where it's sitting flat on the bottom and blocking a lot of holes, you want to get it up off the bottom. So the trivet is perfect for that. Now it's going to become even more obvious why we needed to have our plaited bagel on baking paper because now I've got to get the, ba uh, the plaited bagel into the Varoma. So guess what? I'm just going to pick it up and I'm just going to place it here and just rest it in there. Now we don't want to be cooking with all the paper out because the steam comes up and it goes out rather than being maintained in the Varoma to do the cooking. So what you want to do is just fold in the paper before you pop the lid on. Looks like a little baby here. Pop your lid on and then we're going to sit that on top of our Varoma and we're going to steam that for nine minutes. Right, nine minutes is done. So we're just going to bring our plaited bagel out and we're going to place it onto our baking mat. And again, this is another reason why you're going to have it on the baking paper. Imagine getting it out of there. There's our plaited bagel ready to go in the oven, but we're going to do one more thing. We're going to base the top with some water and then we're going to sprinkle with, I'm using sesame seeds today, uh, but you could use other seeds. You could also use uh, some finely chopped up red onion because we're only baking it at 180 degrees. So the beauty of that is the bacon, uh, the bacon, the onion doesn't burn. All right, so here we go. Just sprinkle with our sesame seeds. It's ready to go in a preheated oven at 180 degrees, which we're ready to go because I've just pulled one out that I made earlier. So I'm just gonna pop that aside. And here we have our beautiful plaited savory bagel. Look how gorgeous that is. And that'll cut up beautifully to be served just as a lunch on its own, or you could serve it with soup. Uh, yeah, we could just eat, eat it any time of the day or night. Now this recipe available free on the Elise Alexandra website, along with all the fabulous bits that I've used today, including the trivet, uh, our dough cutter, the mats, fabulous spatula, even my apron. So head over to the Elise Alexandra website now.